into one of the most popular tourist sites across the country, the Kintampo Waterfalls. Of course, this is, you know, one of the most important economic, you know, uh, entities Kintampo and the Bono East region has. Uh, today, as we celebrate the Ghana month, we are bringing you, you know, what you know and what you do not know so far as the Kintampo Waterfall is concerned. I'm engaging management of this facility to have their take on how this tourist attraction site has contributed to the socio-economic development of Kintampo. Michael Afake Delali is a site manager here. He takes us through when the Kintampo waterfall was first discovered as well as its source. The Kintampo waterfall is one of the major tourist attractions in Ghana. It was discovered in the 18th century by Nana Trema. And through hunting, he found out that this is the wonderful thing that uh, God has given to Kintampo. So over the years, from the 18th century till now, it has been a major force of attraction that many people come from far and near, from the north, from the south, just to witness the waterfall. The waterfall is in three stages. There is stage one, stage two, and stage three. It takes a source from a village 10 kilometers away called Pumpumetipi. One of the unique characteristic features of the Kingdom Waterfall has to do with its regular flow throughout the year, coupled with its easy accessibility. The uniqueness lies in the fact that it flows all throughout the year. And in terms of weight, in terms of weight, I think this is one of the largest in terms of weight. And also the fact is, is that the proximity, when you, it is right along the Kumasi Tamale Highway, Management of this facility is today maximizing its visitations through the judicial use of the various online platforms, including the social media, to marketize the fall. You see, the world is moving on the digital world, so we are also going along. So, we created some uh, pages on Instagram, on TikTok, on Google Business, and this helped us uh, to reach out to people that are fine here yeah, because people that are in Kintampo normally when they want to come. They just drive in and say, okay, fine, we are bringing in people. But if you are far, how do you get to contact us? So the social media also help uh, show that out to the people. Regional Director of the Ghana Tourism Authority, Joseph Apiaji, and the host supervision the facility had a facelift recently. And the World Bank project says the recent additions has gone a long way to help improve the visitations of the area. The enhancement I think I should be the number one person to be excited about the whole uh, uh, enhancement or renovation that has taken place at this waterfall. Mm. So we want to say a big thanks to the World Bank for seeing the need to add value to this important facility which is dear to the heart of the people of Kintampo. Bono East and Ghana at large. For him, the facility since its establishment has contributed immensely to the socio-economic development of the Kintampo municipality. A lot of cars stop at Kintampo, students, churches, other institutions, they come and when they come, they spend money, they leave money here. So it has greatly improved upon the economy of in Tampo municipality. We've also come across some revelers or tourists are here, most of whom are students of uh, some major tertiary institutions across the country. They've been narrating to us their impression about this particular site and what they feel needs to be done to help improve it to a much better status. We're from Germany. Um, we've been in Ghana for half a year and now we are traveling the country and we heard about this waterfalls, the Kintampo Falls. And we, we thought, yeah, we had to check those out. It's a nice place. So, yeah, we really like it there. Yeah. Uh, we heard about the site and then we decided to come and experience it. And then uh, we came to our school. We actually enjoyed the falls and the, the water actually. Everything was good. Okay, I'm Janet and we are here to have fun. Okay, here is very cool. It's a nice place. And I've been hearing about the Kindabo waterfall and it's very nice and you if you picture it you see how nature works. You see how the water comes and the speeds in which it 
calls uh, and the surrounding, you feel the atmosphere is very cool. I want to say, a blue satan season we are. I'm not for about you. What's a tenacity? I know I have read an ice. If you over Hanama, I feel cool. I think I got it so. We asked if they really want to come back some other time, and to each one of them, their responses has been an emphatic yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't even want to go back. I just want to sleep here. Yeah, this. I think I'll talk to him, and anytime they send us money from home, we'll allocate some for waterfalls. Yeah. Oh, with my family for sure. Yeah, yeah. Among the top visitors of this facility are students from the various tertiary institutions across the country. John Bosco Ahen Nkrumah is a tutor at the Offenso St. Patrick Nursing and Midwifery Training College. He wants authorities to add other modern facilities including a swimming pool and a hotel facility to add more color to the tourist site. I'm, I'm foreseeing the next future. I guess we have a hotel, probably a swimming pool, some of the modern facilities to keep the pool here for some probably some weeks if they really want to really stay here but not to come for the side and crash and then move somewhere to sleep now you remember that unfortunate incident in the year 2017 where some 22 you know revelers lost their lives after you know a heavy windstorm blew off some few trees on top of the you know waterfall of course uh, today we are gauging seven years down the lane how that particular incident has impacted this particular tourist side has it been positive or has it been negative i think um uh, post the disaster uh, it, it really it really helped the place it really helped the place i think that is what brought some of the major places to come and look at the site and i think uh, the rehabilitation and the uh, redevelopment i think that brought the new steps and a couple of structures and also made the administration a very functional administration. In terms of visitations, Michael tells me there's been a massive improvement with the facility recording up to 26,000 visitations in the year 2023 compared to a figure of 22,000 in the year 2022. Every year we do the annual uh, statistics collation. So last year we were over 26,000 people visited the site. I think we did 22,000 the previous year, and last year we did 26,000. With the 2017 disaster still fresh in the minds of many revelers, what are some of the major security measures taken by management to keep similar future disasters? And also with the security agencies, normally when it's an occasion, they don't forget to come. Uh, I think if you were here for some of the festivities, you'll find out that when the fire service comes, they conduct the canopy walkway. When the fire service come, they conduct the kind of work with the police also at the gate inspecting, and the immigration people are also checking around. So I think all and the ambulance is always packed in, at the entrance. So I think all these people they come on board, and when they are in, I think I would say that it just tells us that we are actually prioritizing the lives of the revelers and not just the money. The major challenge facing the smooth running of the facility today is the issue of bush fires around the green zone of the waterfalls. Michael tells me more needs to be done to help address this worrying menace. Since people farm along or close to the site, in the way of control burning, the fire gets into our yard. And most of the times, they're able to burn the green around. They don't touch the major facilities, but the green, the green, which is very important. So that is a major problem that we face. As we mark the Heritage Month, Joseph Apiaje tells me that the region and the country at large has to celebrate the Kintampo waterfall as a treasure and admonish others to visit the area. We have to celebrate it because this is the treasure that we have as the people of Kintampo, people of Bono East and Ghana at large. So even as we celebrate the heritage month, this is our heritage which ought to be properly preserved for the future generation to also come to benefit from it. Well, the 2017 disaster might have caused a lot of havoc due to the lives lost, but it has turned out to be a blessing in disguise with an increase in visitations year in, year out. From the Kintampo Waterfalls for Joy News, my name is Anasadi reporting.